in, in a foreign relations committee hearing, we had Deputy Assistant Secretary of State Brett McGurk, and I asked him directly, you know, w what does ISIS, what threat do they directly uh, posed in the United States. He talked about the 30 to 50 suicide bombers that funneling into Iraq that week. We had an Australian, a German suicide bomber set themselves off, I believe, in Baghdad. We've seen the first American suicide bomber. Uh, I am concerned, uh, the talk coming out of this administration, that we, we may want, uh, you know, this may take three years. You know, first, let, let, let me ask you, do you believe ISIS is something that can be contained or managed versus destroyed? I, th I think of this in phases. I think in the near term, in the immediate term, you can take steps to de degrade and disrupt their ability to carry out attacks. But to prevent yourself from having to deal with that in perpetuity, you have to go beyond that and look to destroy or defeat the organization. And that is what the administration, the president, the secretary of state have talked about over a longer period of time. That objective is not as easy to, to, to put a specific time horizon to. I understand, but, but I'm concerned, kind of like having a hornet's nest in your backyard. Uh, you know, if you, you identify the threat, you want to get rid of it as quickly as possible. You don't want to poke it with a stick for three years. And so again, I, what I want to see is a clearly articulated goal of destroying ISIS as quickly as possible so that we can then maintain our defenses against the other threats that are, that are metastasizing around the world. I mean, would you basically agree with that assessment? I certainly share that goal. I think the, the, the talk about the phasing is just simply a recognition that in order to build the intelligence basis necessary to attack and pull apart an organization and defeat it takes time. Okay, I understand. But while you're doing that, you, you try to put great pressure on the organization so that it can't punch you in the process while you're going through that longer process.